just let you walk away Just let you leave without a trace When I stand here taking every breath with you Hey guys, it is Carl Brown with Guitar Lessons 365.com. Got a beautiful song today, Against All Odds. One of my favorite, probably my favorite Phil Collins song. And uh, it's an amazing, amazing ballad. Um, very hard to sing, as, as you can tell. So I'm trying to work my way through it, but I am not a singer, guys. So I'm just kind of like, uh, you know, just little place setter vocals, just to say that. So. Um, don't need any comments about the vocals. They're not good. I get it. Anyway, we're going to learn the chords to this today. My little own arrangement. I know this is a piano-based song, but it uh, works pretty well for guitar. Not too hard to, to get your hands around. Even the little intro, the little piano riffs, uh, we're going to take a look at something we can make it sound similar, at least, um, with just one guitar. So hopefully you guys will uh, bear with us singing and uh, get through it with me. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a beautiful track once you get it all down. Now, before I do get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Uh, ring the notification bell, kind of like and comment, whatever, all that stuff. But really, watch the videos. When you see it in your feed, watch it. Just turn it on and let your cat watch it. I don't care. But we're going to, that's what really helps everything. Um, and if you really want to support, truly want to support what I do on YouTube, like all the songs I've been doing for years, uh, best way to do it is join my guitar academy. Um, it's the home to all my guitar courses from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses and technique and improvisation ear training theory. That link in the description will give you a free seven day trial. Um, so you can check it out. I do a live every weekend with a, like, a live stream with just like, me and academy members so they can ask me questions in real time. So it's a lot of fun, great community. Please come join us. I'd uh, love to see you there. All right, so let's jump into it. Now, I wanted to do this in the original key. Um, that's on the album. So in order to make that work on the guitar, the easiest way to do it is to tune your guitar down a half step. So that is what we are going to do. So I am low E string is tuned down to a D sharp, A string tuned down to a G sharp, D string tuned down to a C sharp, G string tuned down to an F sharp, B string down to an A sharp, and then the high E string down to a D sharp. So. Let's get in that tuning, and then you're ready to rock. That way we can use some open position chords and stuff like Like I said, it's a piano tune, so. Anyway, so let's see if we can get this opening rip. That kind of thing. So what I'm doing there is, um, now if you just didn't want to do that, you can just do it. Just kind of go to an E minor, do an A thing. You didn't want to do that fill. So that's just in case you, you really want to simplify the song and, and take care of that um, little intro. But if you want to do it kind of on guitar, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the high E string and the low E string together. So I was hyper picking that. Then I play the second fret on the G and then the open B string. Try to let those all ring out. So. And then I go three, 
two on the high E string. So as much as you can let the, everything ring together, the better. The better. So you get that far, and then you're gonna jump up here and go. So that's gonna be now the a open A string with the pick while picking the fifth fret there on the B. Then to the fifth fret on the high E string, and then the second fret there on the um, B string. You can play it like this too, which sounds fine, but it's kind of, you gotta move around more for that. But, uh, so if you like it there, just move that C sharp over to the G string. So we have that. And then the second time, a little bit more simplified. Which is just so the same thing, starting it. Just all the way to that 3 2, but then just kind of skip here to this note, the open A string with the second fret, uh, with the fifth fret on the B. And that's it. So that, that's the whole riff when you do those two together. Like, first one with the extended ending, and then the more simplified ending. So as soon as we get to that note, then the verse comes in uh, with some really nice chords. ending there is going to be a little bit different than the second ending. So whenever we're leaving the verse, we're going to have like a sus to a regular chord. So I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to start with a B minor 7 chord. So that's just going to be a bar on the from the high E string across to the A string at the second fret. And then in front of that, you're going to have the third fret there on the uh, B string and then the fourth fret there on the D string. And we still call them as normal standard tuned strings. Obviously they're not anymore, but that gives us a B minor seven. Obviously a B flat minor seven, but like I said, we're not gonna confuse things by saying the stuff like that. So don't worry about the tuning. So we have this B minor and then B minor seven, I'm sorry. Then just move that up two frets to a C sharp minor seven. And then what you're gonna do is go all the way up to this D and we're just gonna play a regular D major chord. So that's the fifth fret here on the A string, and you get a bar the seventh fret across the D, G, and the B. And then what we have here, so it's like an E uh, seven sus chord, or e, really kind of implying an E minor seven sus chord. And then we go to the actual, resolve it to the actual minor seven chord. So. Um, so that's just basically, I'm doing a bar across five strings from the high E string to the, the A string at the seventh fret, but I'm going to have, let the open string, low E open string, I'm going to let that be heard too. So with that bar, in front of that bar, we're going to have the ninth fret there on the D, and then initially when you first play the chord, also the tenth fret there on the B. So you can strum across from the low E string to the B string. And then you're gonna resolve that to a regular minor seven chord like we just played um, by now playing the eighth fret there on the B, your middle finger. So we have this. Just like that. All right, from there we have this. So that's kind of interesting. So what's going on? There's a little moving voice in there. A little moving line. So we have G in the bass the entire time here. So how it works is it starts with a, a G sus2 chord. So that's the best way to play that, easiest way, I guess, is this the third fret there on the low E string and use that finger to mute the A string. And then hit the open D let the D ring open, and then you have the second fret there on the G. So, so you want to hear, I'm sorry, the second fret on the G. 
So you hear that as the top string. So just from that far across to the G string. And then you're gonna take it to a regular um, G major chord, which is just move that note on the G string up to the fourth fret. So you still have the open D. So it's pretty cool. And then he keeps moving up by now keep this G in the bass, but we're gonna play an A major chord over it. You can still keep the you can still keep the A string muted though. Don't worry about that. Just have the A triad on top. The bar across the second fret of the B, G, and the D. Now you can call this an A7 chord and third inversion, but it's usually just read as like a, a slash chord, which is just a over G, and that's kind of a better way of looking at it. So uh, we basically have this. All right, and then from there, we're going to go to an F sharp minor chord. So that's just a full bar at the second fret across all six strings. And then uh, the fourth fret on the A and the D. And then go back over to this B minor. Now it's not going to be a B minor 7 this time, it's just going to be a regular B minor. So that's now a bar um, from, you, can, you don't have to leave the bar, you can just move these fingers over if you want. But that's just, you really need the bar from the, the high E to the A. And then in front of that, the 3rd fret there on the B, the 4th fret on the G instead of the letting the bar do it, which is what the, we did with the minor 7th chord. 4th fret there on the G, and then the 4th fret on the D string. So it's a normal B minor when you come around to it there. So. And then the end of the verse. So it's just an E minor chord. To an A. So it just goes to an A major chord there at the end. When we're not done, we're going to repeat the verse again. Whenever we're leaving the verse, that ending, instead of going E minor to A, is like this instead. So it's just an A still, but just move that note up on the B string uh, to the third fret. We'll make it an A sus four first. And then resolve it down to the A. So that's only when you're leaving the verse, getting ready to go to the uh, chorus. All right, so for the whole verse, um, well, let's do, do the, uh, I'll do the whole verse so you, you know where everything's going. Make sure that the only difference between the two times of doing the chord progression is going to be that A sus to A at the very end of the second time through. So, all together for the verse. So then we get to the chorus here. Uh, so the chorus, all new chorus, some really cool chorus as well too. Uh, so here we go with the chorus. So take a look at me now. Four to the A ending. 
notice how I bailed out of singing the end of that chorus. I'm out. I'm on these people's breath control is amazing. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna start here. The first chord of the chorus. So I have to add, coming out of that. So take a look at me now. So that first chord you're seeing there is an A. It's a D major with A in the bass. So he's doing that kind of letting a, the chord kind of kind of keep it the, the let the A ring underneath these chords. So what we can do here is that's a that's a D major. So it's pretty easy. Just open uh, A string, fourth fret there on the D, second on the G, and third on the B. So I'm kind of just strumming those four strings, and then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna open A string. 6th fret there on the D, 4th on the G, 3rd on the B, open a high E. Now, you can uh, look at that chord as an A major 11 chord with no 3rd, so... Alright, from there we're gonna go to uh, the, a B minor. G, E minor, and A. So it's like kind of same E minor A that ends the verse. So it looks like this. Let's go through the same chords again, different ending. So the verse and the chorus both end with that A sus4 to the A. Then it goes back to the verse, so the same exact verse we did before, except this time the chord progression is just played one time through instead of twice. So it's a, the, the verse is half as long, the second verse. So because of that, that you're going to use that to the one time that you play it here in the second verse, you're going to have that A sus to the A ending. So just remember that whenever you're ending the verse, even if you're just playing it one time, you're gonna do the A sus to A ending. And then it goes to the chorus again. Same exact chorus chords we just did, but instead of being played twice, it's played three times. Um, so you're gonna wait to the third time here to do that A sus to A sus two ending. So remember, only at the end of each of these uh, progressions do you do that ending. All right, so then we get to the outro section, which kind of uses that same uh, piano riff that we did in the intro. Uh, and then this little extended ending to it. it looks like this. Take a look at me now. All right, so it's that same riff played one time through. Oops, sorry. And then again. Then take a look at me now. So right there, after he does that little vocal line, he gets kind of half uh, way through, starting over the riff. Then we're gonna switch to this little outro lick. Oh, sorry. So that's. Uh, so I'm just gonna the open D string in the bass. While picking the fifth fret on the B, open high E. I'm sorry, not the open high E. The fifth fret on the high E. I think it goes back to the, the, that note too. And then you're gonna put C sharp in the bass, which is the fourth fret on the A, while picking that fifth fret there on the B, and then back to the fifth fret on the high E string. And then we're just gonna do a couple chords. We're gonna go to this G, play a G major chord by playing. The third fret on the low E string and the G and the B together. G and the B string together. Open G and the B. And then we're gonna go to an A major, which is just the open A string, and this the second fret bar across the G and the B string. So 
So that last little figure again. All right, so it is a, a beautiful song. Works very well on an acoustic guitar, tuned down a half step. Hope you guys agree with me. It was a lot of fun to crank this one out. Uh, uh, it is one of my favorite ballads, I think. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.